What's up everybody? My name is Cap, the Everyday Gamer. This is a team deathmatch on firing range and I'm running with my infield. I think, yeah, infield. I got Estrella, secondary, uh, normal perks, whatever. Anyway, um, wanted to let you know, one, I haven't uploaded in the last few days, I guess, a new video because me personally, I've been having some connection issues. Actually, most of my friends and I have too. It's just, you know, it takes way more bullets than necessary to actually get any kills and, you know, small amounts of lag and people ice skating around the stage and whatnot. I don't know what it is, but since Friday of last week, it's just been, you know, not so good. So, you're going to notice a little bit slight change in play style this round versus my other ones. And this isn't by any means any kind of epic score where I just roll the team dramatically or whatnot. It's a it's a pretty good round. We did pull off a win and I had a you know okay stats but nothing nothing as good as some of the other videos I posted and definitely not as good as what you know you may see on other channels. But anyway I wanted to post this for you guys just because it was a pretty good game. But anyway like I said um yeah I uh, had to take I had to start playing this game a lot slower paced and uh, not necessarily just camping status I mean you'll notice in a few places that I kind of hunker down in an area a little bit longer than I normally would but um, you know like I said it's for a couple of reasons uh, one in part of it I'm working on getting hacker pro which involves getting 25 kills with a motion sensor or a jammer and I have the motion sensor so you know, unfortunately, with that, you pretty much kind of have to camp a little bit. It's just part of the way it works out. Because you have to kill people within range of the motion sensor, and, well, if you venture too far outside from where you put it, it's kind of pointless. So, you'll see me pretty much patrolling an area more or less than just camping. Because, in my opinion, camping is when you go prone and just wait for somebody to walk past you. That's camping. Hanging out in one general house and watching all the entrances and whatnot and getting kills that way, that's, that's not camping, in my opinion. It's definitely not as interesting to watch as watching somebody run around with a shotgun and just owning the map, but, you know, when you have to use an entire clip on somebody just to get a kill versus the few shots it should normally take, it's frustrating. you got to adjust your play style. So that's why this one's a little bit slower pace. So you just have to forgive me. Um, my last video, I tried something new as far as the introduction goes using the giant screen TV I made in Minecraft as kind of a movie theater style. Um, I've been told by a few people they actually liked it, thought it was pretty creative and whatnot, so I may do that. I may kind of extend it a little bit, and that would be just kind of a my thing. Um, what do you guys think about it? You know, leave some comments, if you would, please, and let me know what you think. If you think it looks kind of cool, kind of my own little flavor, then you know I'll uh, I'll expand it, maybe even build a full movie theater out of it, and just kind of you know make it my own dramatic entrance. Well, for now, at least for this game, I'm not going to do anything special. Um, this is where you're going to kind of see me going a little bit on to uh, Boy Scout mode, where I set up a tent, pull out some marshmallows, and just set up shop here for a minute. This little area. But, you know, like I said, you got to do what you got to do to get the jammer kills. And when connection's kind of craptacular and not working for you, then, you know, sometimes you just kind of have to hunker down. I'm watching the radar. Like I said, I got my radar jammer out. and I'm not my, sorry, not the jammer, the motion sensor. So, you know, I can see people coming. I barely get that kill. Got my napalm strike. And call it in here. I love the napalm strike. It's very nice. I hate when I die by it with my own napalm. <laughs> you feel like a retard. It's kind of funny that your napalm strike can kill you, but your teammate's na napalm can't. Even though it's still considered friendly fire, you know, literally, it's just kind of odd, I guess. See, the guy's trying to get a wall bang and it didn't work out. I managed to get that, but check it out. I got eight total rounds left, so I'm going to try and get lucky here and didn't work out. Next. This is something I hope they fix in the game here, is I do not want it to automatically switch to my secondary weapon the moment I'm out of ammo. Because if it's something like that, a launcher, hell, it takes a long time to switch back from a launcher to a normal weapon. It's a pain in the butt. Um, it does that on, you know, any weapon. You switch back and forth, it goes very quickly to your next weapon. Well, you know, I hate when that happens. It's just frustrating. It's not something that should happen I think maybe make it as an option a toggle thing you know auto switch on empty clip or <laughs> however you want to word it but 
I don't I don't like when it does that. It didn't happen all that often, but you know, when it's having connection problems and you have to spend a lot more ammo trying to actually get a kill, it's you know, I run an ammo a lot more. I spend more time picking up other people's guns and here I'm going into Boy Scout mode again. I I know I like this little perching spot here because you can see from so many different angles and you know got a little bit of a an advantage there and you know plus you as soon as you start getting shot you can drop down again real quick and here I almost get a nice little double I got one I'm shooting the other guy and then I get shot from behind so you know I ended up with a kill and an assist and then a death I got kind of a <laughs> triple single I guess if you're looking at it that way I got my uh, napalm strike again to try to find a good place to put it. I hate when I get an actual air strike kind of thing, kill streak of whatever, and then there's no dots on the radar for where to put it because then it's just random. So, yeah. But I don't know. Um, this game wasn't too bad as far as, you know, hit detection actually goes, but. You know, I've been spending time on the forums and, you know, watching other people's gameplays and there's something's been amiss the last uh, few days or whatever. It's just, it doesn't matter what gun I use or what tactics I use, it seems like it takes, you know, where it should take three to six bullets to kill somebody, I'm spending an entire clip on them. I was watching a, a replay of a video I did last night, or a, a gameplay I had. Three guys, shoulder to shoulder, had their backs to me. I clearly had the drop on them. Should have been able to get, you know, one or two kills out of it. I unloaded a full clip, reloaded, continued firing before they turned around and shot me. Didn't get a single kill. Not even enough to get an assist when somebody else finally got a kill. So, that sucks. That does kind of suck indeed, but, you know, hopefully they'll get it fixed. I know a patch is coming out here pretty soon to address some issues. I'm hoping it'll be out before Christmas. But anyway, um, this round's about to draw to a close. That's my last kill. I'm going for a quick grenade toss, but the round ends before it goes off. We get the win. Ended up 23 and 8, I think. So, I'll talk to you later.